Hi everyone. Um, happy Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Yeah. Um, today I wanted to touch base on a high protein meal and my favorite thing to talk about is how to get back on track if you've gotten off track. Why? Because that is often me. I love to make a great plan and get a great idea and I'm going to do this and I'm going to get really healthy and then my next favorite thing to do is get off of that plan because I just like to be a rebel to myself mostly, but that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, life gets busy, life gets turned around or things happen unexpectedly and so it's always great to have as many tools as possible to keep you on track so you don't get distracted and everything. So I'm gonna be going over this, I know it's backwards for you right now, um, but I'm gonna flip the camera so I can go through and talk about the important things on this, uh, on the information here to keep you on track, to keep high protein. So this is something that I actually did because I recently, um, you know, moved, had a life change. You know, I'll be talking more about that in the next couple of weeks, um, especially with some of the events I have coming up. So I'm going to be doing some really fun announcements about that as well. So stay tuned for those. But um, it just, you know, in getting a new schedule down, and a lot of people have this right now too with kids starting school, new schedule or new job or new life change, you have to be adaptable and to get your system down. And it's important to really sort of be lenient with yourself, be forgiving with yourself, but also to have those tools and tricks to get back on track when you need to. So why this is important is, um, you know, starting off the day, I usually start off with a shake, my favorite coffee shake, which I made earlier this week. And then I also do things to really, really make sure I have high protein snacks and then a great high protein lunch, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you know, what happens if you miss one of those snacks? What happens if you get off track? Well, the great thing about eating high protein all the time is that you can increase your protein for the next meal so you hit your numbers for the day or at least get really close. Because all of a sudden if it's the end of the day and you're like, geez, I gotta get like 100 grams of protein for dinner, blah, you know, that's really tough to do. So this is a great meal that I throw in for lunch or something if I need to really boost my protein numbers for that meal because I missed something for the day or I'm concerned I'll be missing something later. So I'll flip the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about here and how to go through this. So this is just a high protein meal um, and I just posted this to another picture of it um, so you guys can see it. But really, in starting off, it's just I use four eggs um, and I cook them with greens and coconut oil. Um, I didn't put that on there, but with four eggs, you're getting about 28 grams of protein here. That's a lot of protein. And a lot of times, you know, two or three eggs will be a good meal for somebody. I chose four, or you can use, you know, two eggs and two egg whites or whatever combination, again, to get this amount of protein. Um, but you're shooting for close to 30 grams of protein here. I also added two slices of cheese. You can use cheddar that doesn't have any lactose in it if you're worried about lactose. Um, you know, or and mozzarella is really high in uh, protein as well. I think I used Monterey Jack was the um, type of cheese I used. But with two slices of that, that's actually 14 grams of protein. So total then together, that is 42 grams of protein. Holy cannoli, that's a ton of protein right there. Then I put that on two tortillas. I split it up so there's two eggs per tortilla. I use corn tortillas, those small little corn tortillas. So each one is about 10 grams of, pro of carb. So together that's 20 grams of carbs. So again, I'm top loading the protein and making that over double of what the carb I'm having. Again, that's gonna help level my blood sugars out for hours afterwards, hours and hours and hours. Um, and yes, I did not really get to roll the tortilla because with these two eggs in there and the cheese and the greens and everything else, holy cow, I ate it like an open face sandwich pretty much. Um, but that's a way, again, about 10 grams of carb per tortilla so you can do the whole thing in half if you want. If you're like, I just want a smaller snack. Two eggs, one slice of cheese, one tortilla, and you're gonna get you know, still 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of carbs, super duper. But I'm boosting it for today. I'm getting my protein numbers in. I am determined to do that, so that's why I'm doubling these numbers here to get to this higher protein number. And then greens, I just fried the greens with the eggs and the coconut oil, sauteed it in a cast iron skillet because cast iron adds more iron to your food and there's already iron in here so I'm double boosting my iron there. And then guacamole because guacamole is delicious and <laughs> it's really good. That's my kind of go-to meal on when I really need to add protein for the day and get my numbers in. Um, hopefully that really, really helps <laughs> for kind of figuring some things out 
And any excuse to eat guacamole is a good excuse to eat guacamole. Um, so my, one of my new goals, again, in transitioning and, you know, a lot of times in season transitions, people will make new health goals or that type of a thing is that I'm starting a new workout regimen um, and kind of restarting that for myself, um, which is just fun, fun to do. And I'm actually using a trainer. So I haven't had a trainer in a while. I'm a little nervous that it's going to be mean, um, but that's the point, right? <laughs> Get you out of your own comfort zone. Um, but these are things where he actually was like, well, send me what you're eating. I was like, oh, I've got the eating thing down. And then once I started recording more of it, I was like, oh, yeah. Whoops, I forgot this today. Mm, uh -huh. I'm usually pretty good about it. But again, if life gets busy, it's easy to get off track. So this is the way to get back on track, get those high protein numbers, get that energy, everything else. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a new workout regimen. I'm going to be a beefcake, just beefcake. Just kidding. I'm not, but anyway. Life goals, high protein. I'm going to be talking more about protein, more about meals, fixing things easily, and I'm going to start to incorporate more meals for kids and incorporating that with family because I know for a lot of ladies that have families and you're doing a lot of the meal prep for everybody, you're like, oh, this is a lot. I got a new you know, meal prep for me, meal prep for them. Oh, everybody. Yeah, um, it, it can be a lot. So I'm going to be talking more about easy tips for that as well. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for some more exciting announcements for the rest of the week. I've got some fun stuff coming. Yay. Everybody have a great day and we'll chat with you tomorrow.